Hello world, it is thir our Wednesday, uh, December 13th, 2023, and looking out the window at Defiance, it's a beautiful blue sky, sunny morning, but crispy cold. The temperature is in the low 20s, and, but I think it's supposed to be in the low 40s today, so a beautiful day. The devotion for today is entitled Born to Die by Rachel Hackenberg. And Rachel bases the devotion upon Psalm 42, verse 1. New Revised Standard Version. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. And then Rachel writes. In Pennsylvania, when I grew up, the first Monday after Thanksgiving was the opening day of deer season, deer hunting season, to be clear. Deer hunting with a firearm, to be specific, not a bow and arrow or muzzleloader, which have their own seasons. Our public school district was always closed that Monday so young hunters could head out to the woods and the state lands to nab a deer on opening day. Perhaps it's a bit brutal, or at least insensitive, to reflect on the slaughter of white-tailed deer alongside a Bible verse about deer flourishing. But the Advent season has a similar overshadowing of brutality and bitter irony if we stopped to long enough to consider it. The promised Emmanuel would eventually be executed. The longed for child was born with a certainty of death. So was the deer. So were you. So was I. And between birth and death, we pant for water, for life, for peace, for reassurance of holy presence. Only one did not have that longing between birth and death. Only one did not thirst for God. Only one did not wonder if God was thought lost or hidden. Only one was the well itself, the stream itself, the satisfaction itself. Only one was the very holy presence that this rest of us desperately long to drink deeply. That one died too, but oh, how sweet that one's life. How beautiful the peace of the one unafraid of hunters, and how delicious the promise that we too might live with such satisfaction. And Rachel's prayer. Satisfy my thirst and set me free from fear, ever flowing stream. Amen. Oh, a few things that gone, went through my mind as I was reading this, um, this devotion was, um, I, I was a little taken aback by the one thing in it, and this is just sometimes just little things strike me, um, where she she wrote, uh, Rachel wrote, um, only one did not wonder if God was lost or hidden, and if I'm understanding it, she's speaking of Jesus. Um, and yet, in one of the gospel stories of the uh, this crucifixion, he in fact cries out to God, "My God, My God, why have you forsaken me?" So, I wondered where God was. Anyway, that was one thing that popped through my mind as I was reading this. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that I was thinking of is, um, while we're alive, we should live, um, not worrying about when we're going to die, because we're all going to die. None of us gets out of here alive, but trying to make the most of the time that we have here on this earth. We never know when our time might come that our life will end, so we should do the work we can, um, do the good work that we can, the work of oh, bringing peace, um, living God's love in the world, just as Jesus did just as Jesus taught. Um, anyway, those were the thoughts I had when I was reading this devotion. Um, I was also thinking of um, when I lived in northern, small town in northern Michigan, and deer hunting season was big there. Uh, and in Michigan, it starts, um, bow season starts the beginning of November and lasts um, until I think it's December 1st. And then if I remember right, um, or maybe it's November 15th. Gosh, I don't remember now. It's been so long. Um, but then there's like two weeks of um, rifle season. Then it goes back to like another four or six weeks of bow season. So it's a little different than Pennsylvania. But anyway, that's an aside. Um, hope you enjoyed the sunshine today and um, hope to talk to you soon.